Okay, so first of all, how'd you guys get started as a band? Uh, three years ago, the, oh, sorry, this is Shay. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm getting used to this. <laughs> three years ago, um, the Go-Go's and Disney teamed up to look for an all-girl band that they could mentor and, uh, you know, just kind of bring up from the, the beginning. And um, the four of us, minus Shelby, uh, <laughs> that's, that's her went on a series of auditions to try and find the best musicians of our age and gender. And um, because we couldn't find any serious musicians around us, that's why we decided to start looking for auditions to go on. And um, the four of us were chosen for that. And as soon as we met, we immediately clicked and we're still like really good friends now. And um, we decided to go more in the rock direction because uh, it's more of type of music that we like to play and listen to and are inspired by. So a year and a half ago, we got Shelby as our lead singer, or she joined the band <laughs> as our lead singer. We bought her. We bought Shelby at Target. She was lost, but now she's <laughs> Cool. Um, so what's with what's the name KSM about? Is that like a specific meaning to that? Or uh, Yeah, actually, all of our names either start with a K or an S. We have Shay, yeah. Sophia, Kate, Katie, Shelby. And then the M is for music. Oh. That was Sophia. <laughs> and this was Sophia. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's cool. So how do you guys like touring with Mitchell Musso? Is that a lot of fun? It's a lot of fun to get out and perform and everything. And Mitchell's great. He's a pleasure to be around. And um, he got yeah, us flowers. It's been really, really fun. Aww. He got us flowers last night. <laughs> um, this is Shelby. I mean, <laughs> no, no, it's not Shelby. I'm Shelby. 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 All right. <laughs> All right. Um, and you guys got to tour with Demi Lovato and David yes. Archuleta earlier. Was that, and you recorded your uh, video that you were talking about out on yes. stage. What was that um, like? That whole? This is uh, Shelby again. Okay. That was incredible. It was, it's a lot different from this tour because we were in arenas, and this tour is more clubs and small mm -hmm. venues. Um, but both are really awesome um, and a lot of fun. But that one was like, <laughs> it was really crazy. Mm -hmm. A lot of people were there, and it was just a really wonderful experience. So what kind of things are we going to see on the little reality show type thing that you're going to have online? This is Kate, and you might catch some drums, aka drama, first time I've ever used that abbreviation. <laughs> <laughs> you, you might see some drums. Uh, this is Katie, and you also might see some special guests. Oh. Yeah, this is... Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> this is Sophia, and it's basically us backstage, us on the bus, us... Us uh, all the time. <laughs> so, crying, eating, crying, eating, sleeping. Saved from the brink of death. It's just oh, oh really though. Oh. Everything that nobody ever gets to see. Uh -huh. Like we always go on stage, you know, and that's all people see when they come to a concert is like what goes on out there. And it's yeah. definitely a lot more than that. Touring is definitely not as glamorous as you think it is. And you get to see it's all real. And you get mm -hmm. to see all of that. That was KB. Yeah. It's not scripted at all. Alright. Sorry, it's already started. It's, it's already, already started. Yeah, there's ten episodes. Oh, okay. All right. There's already ten episodes. <laughs> okay, cool. How long are they going to run for? Twenty episodes. Alright. <gasps> We're halfway done. And... <gasps> Is it twenty-one? They're about like five minutes long and just... Okay. Fun. Fact. That's cool. So what's one of your favorite things about touring? I think this is Sophia, and my favorite thing about touring is getting to be in a new city almost every day and walking around and exploring the United States of America. It's very, very I feel very cultured. Do you ever get to stop and actually see some of the sights and stuff? When yeah. we're lucky in Seattle, I know we went in the Space Needle, and you know, in New York, we walked around Times Square, and you know, you just. Um, um, we have a few can't. days off here in Philly, which is really oh. cool. We love South Street, that's one of my yeah. favorite places ever. Yeah. And that's Katie, by the way. And yeah, we're really excited. I think what's cool about tour is, like she said, getting to see a different place every time. It never really gets stale. It's like a different adventure every time, even if you're revi revisiting a place, because it's not like you stay there for a month, you know? Mm -hmm. And this is Shelby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Kate. It's okay. No, no, no. <laughs> Go ahead, Kate. Okay, just really short. This is Kate. And, um, and something really cool about all the traveling that we get to do is. It's just weird when you go to some place like on the other side of the United States from where you live and you recognize where you are and you like know oh, weird really things good. around where you are. It's, it's really cool. I have a really good addition to that. Um, Say it. Shelby. This is Shelby. <laughs> and it's really cool because you learn a lot about your country when, like this is corny, um, you, learn about, you learn about your country when you go on tour because I've ne I never knew what like a longhorn was until I went to Dallas. I never knew <laughs> what like, I never knew that she say like, O H I O when you're when you go to Ohio State and then like when I got back to um, Calif like 
uh, LA and I was home for a few days and I got to walk around like I saw someone walking around in a, an Ohio State sweatshirt <laughs> and I was like um, oh, hey. oh H and they were like I O and I was like yes and then and then I saw someone wearing a shirt that said long had a longhorn on it and I was like hey is that a longhorn and they were like yeah like so you just learn so much and it's really cool and I was also going to say that going on tour is a lot of fun because just performing it's what we love to do and it's really cool to just get out on stage and uh, meet the try fans. new meet the fans and try new mm -hmm. things every night like you get to. Have a sushi each, in every state, yeah. and find out and which each, state you can say y'all in. Yeah, and each, <laughs> each performance, like you learn something new, and you find something new to do on stage, and it's just it's so much fun. And, and that was this, is <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Shay. And with all that being said, I don't think any of it would be as much fun unless we were with you know our close friends. So we get to hang out all the time too. That's cool. What? I don't know. Okay. Uh, uh, dramas. Okay. Uh, dramas. Dramas. <laughs> so, um, you guys got to do the cover of "I Want You to Want Me," and like, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm getting over cold. But um, I like heard that pretty much all summer on ABC Family. With we're always listening to that in the pop culture madness office. We always have that channel on for some reason. So, um, what was it like for you guys? <clears throat> Sorry, to hear that over and over, like in the summer, is that exciting to hear your song on TV all the time? This is Shelby. It was really crazy. It was. It's funny because we'd be at the shows and that was like the song we would open with on mm -hmm. the demi tour and on this tour actually, and um, people would automatically be like, "Oh my God, I know this song." Mm -hmm. First of all, because it's a classic song, and second of all, because it's on Ten Things I Hate About yeah. You, and it was just—it's so cool to connect with the fans that way. This is Katie, and I think one of the coolest things about it for me is, like, I, my hometown is North Carolina. I used to go to school there, and mm -hmm. uh, I lost touch with a lot of my friends there, obviously, just being in the band, and, you know. And I'll get random phone calls and random text messages and be like, oh, my gosh, wait, was that your band? Like, are you in a band? And I was like, <laughs> yeah. And they'll be like, you were just on ABC Family. And I'm like, that's so cool to see that other people in other, country, or other countries, <laughs> other countries, <laughs> 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 others states and other cities are like seeing it and like they know like it's, yeah and we love that song it was one of our mm -hmm. favorite songs ever anyway so to be able to cover that was an awesome opportunity for one of our favorite tv shows yeah so you like the movie too yes, oh, yes. <laughs> my favorite movie i was really excited oh yeah okay. Um, so how did you end up covering that? Did you just decide to do it, or did someone like approach you and ask you to do that, or? Well, um, our label is closely related with ABC, um, ABC Family, and so we have a lot of hardworking, really awesome people on our team, mm -hmm. and they kind of made it happen. And also in the movie Letters to Cleo, in the movie Ten Things I Hate About You, mm -hmm. Leather. Leathers, leathers, leathers. Leathers Cleo covered it and performed it on the roof, and that was like a key song in the movie. So mm -hmm. bringing it into the TV show is like a way to incorporate it and make it more like yeah, the original. Really. Um, that was Katie. So yeah. 